Hello and welcome to the University of Lusaka. My name is Mono and I work in the marketing department. Usually when we have orientation, we invite you onto campus, we have food, drinks and lots of fun. Unfortunately, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we'll have to take you on a virtual orientation. Don't worry, it's going to be just as fun. So sit back and relax as the University of Lusaka team guides and orients you on what it means to be a University of Lusaka student. Enjoy! Welcome to the University of Lusaka. My name is Miles from the Accounts Department. The following information is very important for you in relation to the Accounts Department before you make registration. 1. You will need to make 50% upon registration. And after you make the 50% down payment, you need to come through to the Accounts Department and sign a credit agreement form, which will stipulate how you make the balance payment. There is 25% and 25% in the subsequent month ends. So after you are fully paid up, you'll be eligible to register for your exams. After registration for your exams, we kindly request that you come through to the accounts department for you to be authenticated by the accounts that you are fully paid up and there is no balance remaining on your account. Kindly note, we have three different bank accounts. We have one with APSA, another one with Zanaco, and Access Bank. With APSA and Zanaco, when you go to the banks, kindly note that on narration, you will need to use your student number, starting with your prefix and followed by the digits of your student number. With Zanaco, after making payments, kindly note, you will need to bring your proof of payments to the accounts department for us to receipt it so that we can upload your student portal so that you don't have any problems when it comes to payments. You'll be able to reflect on that and see that your payments are all on your portal. Kindly note, if there's any other information that you require from the accounts department, you are welcome to come to our offices and we will work with you and advise on any other issues that you are not clarified on. Thank you. A huge congratulations to all our successful students and uh, thank you for choosing the University of Osaka. I'm Cassandra George from the IT department. So to get started as a student with the university, you need to be an accepted student. Then once you're accepted, you'll notice that on the acceptance letter you have uh, your student number. So that student number is important for identification for all processes. So the first part is registration. So to do your registration, you go to our website, that's www.unilas.ac.za, and you select academics and look for online registration. So once online registration is done, you'll be required to now register as a uh, student. So once that process is done, the credentials that you create for your student portal are the same as the e-learning portal. So inside your student portal, you find things like finances, details about your registration process, contact information with your lecturers, just to mention a few. Then inside your e-learning platform, this is a platform that you use basically for all your learning activities for this semester. So you'll find activities like quizzes, online tests, uh, materials, uh, live video sessions, and pre-recorded materials. So basically all the, all the learning activities will be done inside the e-learning platform. So most of these detailed videos and information about these will be provided in the links below. you find them in the portal, on the official YouTube channel, and uh, on our Facebook page. Then, other than that, the institution also has uh, things like turn it in. So we also have guidelines for that. So this is just used for anti-plagiarism. So you can still go through those guides to acquaint yourselves on how to use it as you'll be doing uh, the rest of the assignments and assessments. Again, thank you for choosing the University of Lusaka. And we can't wait to assist you with any technological issues that you may have during your academic journey. Hi everyone, my name is Lekwa Chisenga and I'm an assistant librarian at the University of Lusaka. Welcome to the University of Lusaka and thank you for choosing to pursue your career with us. So I'm going to give you a quick orientation basically on what the library has to offer even as you pursue your career with us. So in terms of our collection basically, we'll have access to both electronic and physical resources. On the part of physical resources, students will be allowed to borrow books from the library and you'll be allowed to borrow on one book per course. However, students will not be allowed to study from our physical facilities due to the COVID-19. So in terms of du duration, you will be allowed to borrow books for a period of two weeks 
and any delay to that effect, you would attract a penalty of 10 quite a day of delay. In terms of our electronic resources, basically students, will, you will have access actually to our electronic resources via our website and through our library link. So all you need basically is you, once you create your portal, make sure you are connected to a dedicated internet, then you definitely have access to our electronic resources. So in terms of our operating times, basically the library will open from Monday to Saturday. In terms of the timings, Monday to Friday, it will be from 8.30 to 18 hours. On Saturdays, we'll be open from 09 hours to 12 hours. On Sundays, we'll remain closed until further notice. Thank you for choosing to pursue your career with us. Welcome to the University of Lusaka. Stay safe, stay alive. We look forward to seeing you.